women in Philippine sports faces a challenge of stereotypes and gender norms that somehow prevent women athletes to excel and succeed in their own chosen sport. An example of this is when women athletes are objectified as a promotion strategy. When male athletes receive media attention, such coverage is primarily focused on their skilled performance. When women athletes receive media attention, the media is much more likely to, to focus on the physical attractiveness or non-sport related activities. These double standards values the athletic achievements of women athletes compared to their male counterparts. Aside from steering away uh, the attention from our athletic abilities and accomplishments, this kind of objectification also affects women's self-esteem. There is unnecessary pressure to conform to the so-called beauty and body image standards. It pushes viewers to stick to the old perspective that women do not belong in sports, especially in a male-dominated sport like basketball and football. And the belief that women are not as capable as men should not have a place in today's society. Another challenge that women in sports have a battle with are unjust compensation, unequal opportunities, not only for the athletes, but also for the coaches, referees, journalists, broadcasters, and even executives. There is also insufficient amount of exposure and lack of representation. I'm pretty certain that every young girl, every girl in sports will have to go through two things. First, you experience very young, um, and that would be the experience of gender, gender stereotyping or gender roles. Um, as a young athlete trying to get yourself into sports, where the atmosphere is very competitive, sometimes very rough, very emotional. Um, and a lot of the people around you will simply say, are you sure you wanna do that? Because that's not how a young lady should act. A young lady is, is expected to act a certain way. And as a young athlete growing up, I used to think, so am I wrong for for being like this, you know, it's not just belittling. It makes you feel like, like it's so hard to grow, um, to grow into your own shell because you're not always allowed to express the emotions you're supposed to feel. And as any young athlete, regardless of gender, I think it's a common experience to be a bit more um, aggressive in a wrong way, um, a bit more emotional. Um, younger athletes, at least in my experience as a young athlete, I was more hot-headed and that would be hard to control. But I wasn't as comfortable making those mistakes. I wasn't as comfortable trying to grow into that own skin of mine, correcting those mistakes in the process because simply but I was expected to act a certain way. And young girls and women and athletes at the time were still a bit taboo. But thankfully, um, and I owe this to the women who have defied those odds, growing up later on, it wasn't as taboo for women to succeed in sports. But today, a constant challenge is still being faced, I'm sure, by every other woman athlete or a woman in general, um, where you're constantly underestimated by every other person. And biologically, physically, men, all else held equal, men can really be a lot stronger, a lot bigger, a lot more agile, a lot faster. But for me, you know, that doesn't mean women can't achieve as high as they can. They might be, we might be slower, smaller, but I don't think it means what we have achieved in sports is any smaller than what they have. Ateneo, through the guidance, can help in giving an increasing media exposure for our female athletes 
as long as it is unbiased. The media has the power that can shape the public's perceptions of the accomplishments of women playing sports. So they should be very careful on what ideas they are trying to express. I encourage writers and journalists to empower women athletes that we can be strong, confident, and highly skilled. Through these stories and articles, this can shape the dreams and aspirations of young girls and inspire fellow women. Women in sport should be able to explore, develop their potential, and of course, feel supported. We can achieve this by creating events or games focused solely on women. Organize all women events from the participants, hosts, and officials. We can also provide opportunities by opening tryouts for aspiring athletes. Let's encourage the university and sponsors to invest in different women's teams for the development of their skill and potential. Yet, we also need to alter the mindset that is present within our society. It will make a huge difference if we conduct conventions and seminars and raise awareness. Uh, let's all develop leadership skills, remove the biased mindset, and empower women to achieve their full potential. Well, first, I would like to express my pride and gratitude to be part of an institution that has relentlessly supported women, regardless of what field. Um, Ateneo has never made me feel like my achievements were smaller. It has never made me feel like I had to work twice as hard as a man to get to where I am today. But I believe, of course, as a bigger whole, there is more to be done. And Ateneo should continue to be at the forefront of recognizing men and women and their achievements and it should continue requiring the best from from everyone that it, it should instill in the younger generation that there is one goal as a community as an institution as a country and that is to bring peace and the better state of living for every other person in this country because they deserve it and regardless of gender that should be what we should work towards and regardless of gender it will still continue and it will still take every person in this community and in this institution to get to that goal and that's what's important not gender roles not gender stereotypes but us as a community and us as a society to work towards that bigger picture